Okay, guys, Moshe is here, the electric Israeli, and there's a lot of talk this week, uh, the week from hell for Tesla, uh, with the car fires and all that. Also, Consumer Report, which I don't like at all, came up with this dumb uh, uh, conclusion that uh, navigate an autopilot, uh, humans uh, is better than, uh, than the navigate an autopilot, makes better decisions. First of all, in all of Tesla autopilot functions, Tesla always tell you, hands on the wheel, yeah, eyes on the road, ready to take over. So right now, I'm gonna show you the three main functions of autopilot, and then we'll get to navigate an autopilot. Uh, so first of all, the first function is called adaptive cruise control. Uh, one, st uh, one pull of the stock down, and now you are an adaptive cruise control. You are the driver, your hands on the wheel. Uh, you are the driver. The cars in front of you, it just keeps the distance between the cars. Speed limit 55, I'm passing this car in front of me. And, and I am, like I said, I am in charge. I can, now I went to 60 miles an hour. I can go to 65 miles an hour, but I'm the driver. Uh, I'm gonna disengage, navigate on autopilot for a second. Now I'm gonna pull the, the stock down twice and that's gonna be traditional autopilot. One, two, now it's traditional autopilot. Again, always hands on the wheel and always eyes on the road. I'm in the middle lane of three lane highway, uh, highway 24. Uh, and again, I can, I can increase the uh, speed or decrease the speed. Uh, here we go, I went to 70 miles an hour. Uh, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna move over uh, one lane and I put the indicator and the car moves one lane by itself. Uh, but again, I am in control of the moving in, in the lanes. I'm gonna move back to uh, the middle lane right now on uh, autopilot, on regular traditional autopilot. And here are the cars in front of me, so that's it. Now, I'm gonna soon press and navigate an autopilot. Now, there is a function in the settings that you can do that it can suggest to you which lane you should be but you have to give the last okay. Or it can do it by yourself, and that's what Consumer Report talks about, that it makes weird decisions. It doesn't matter what it, it makes. You can always override it, and I'll show you how, and you can always just disengage it if you don't think that it does something that, that, that it's uh, logical, all right? So, here I am, I'm going to put it and navigate an autopilot. Now it's a one-sided line in the middle. Now the car is basically going to decide which best lane to be. It will exit by itself, which it was doing it before. Now I tried it many times. Sometimes uh, you don't understand why it goes from this lane to that lane. It's still, it's a regular uh, autopilot. You control the speed limit. I'm on 70 now, I'm gonna go to 65. Here we go. Now it's suggested to go to the left lane. Uh, there's a car passing me, as you see, it turned red. The indicator is on, on his own. Now the question is, would I have done what the car just did now? Maybe possibly yes, possibly no. I'm on 65 miles an hour. Why would I want to be in this lane? It doesn't matter. I guess there is a, there's a truck in the middle lane. I'm pro it's probably going to go faster than it. I can go 17 past all these cars in front of me. Uh, but it is going to do it on 65 miles an hour. After I finish that curb, I'm going to go to 70 miles an hour and see what it says. But here it is, it's on the left lane. Behind me, there's there are cars behind me. And you know, uh, I would be annoyed uh, if I, see now I, I, I just took over because the, this truck was too close to me. So I basically took over uh, the, um, the, the vehicle uh, because that truck was too close to me um, and uh, I'm going to engage again in autopilot on 70 miles an hour uh, I'm still in the left lane that is the idea you are in charge you are to take over like I just did I showed this a truck was really creeping into the into my lane and I just took over and I went faster and that's okay all right so here is let's try one more time uh, there's steady traffic, so whatever. I mean, uh, it may move right, it may move left. I just showed you, you are in charge, you decide what to do. You know, it will get better, but to say that this is, you are much better off with autopilot on, 
if you are in charge. Now, since this morning, there's also emergency uh, uh, lane, uh, um, emergency lane. In other words, if the car will drift to the right or will pass somebody uh, in somebody's lane, it will bring the car back in lane, which happened to me this morning. So uh, this is a wonderful thing. It's safer for you. It's better for you, but only if you're in charge. Okay, guys, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.